the most important part for most people who would even think about investing in mobile home parks is can you make money with it? See, this is my first mobile home park. It's called Glen Haven. Uh, it was built back in the early 1950s, and he, uh, he agreed to sell Glen Haven to me right there on the phone. He wanted $400,000 with $10,000 down, and he would carry $390,000 in a non-recourse note for 30 years. And the park came with 83 lots and two old dilapidated laundry buildings. And I knew about as much about Glen Haven and mobile home parks as you do probably at this moment, which was nothing. And here's a guy offering to carry the paper with an incredibly low amount down, 2.5% non-recourse. So I was so excited about the financing I went ahead and just bought it over the phone. I mean, I didn't close on it over the phone. I went through a title company and such. I ended up selling Gledhaven seven years later, roughly seven years, for $1.525 million, which was a net difference of $1,125,000. Now, that's not all completely correct because I did have probably about $100,000 of infrastructure work I did over the years. Uh, I turned the gas system into a propane system. I fixed the two dilapidated laundry buildings. I rehabbed some trailers. So, but but any way you cut it, uh, it was about a million dollars profitability on that one deal. Uh, you know, that, that was in fact years ago. And there are some sectors of real estate where things were really good years ago, but now they're not so great. So maybe this was that one, you know, but let's when we sold just recently and it's called North Lamar Mobile Home Park. This park was 68 lots and bought it for about $2 million. So a lot more than I paid for Glen Haven, but of course you're in Austin, Texas, and you can't really compare Austin, Texas to Southern Dallas. But that was kind of uh, the deal. And if you go to the next slide, we, we just sold this thing five years later for $6.2 million. And this one, the math is easy to do. So if you go to the next slide, the difference on that was 4.2 million dollars profit over a five-year span. So we made about $800,000 a year. The bottom line is that trailer parks are a whole lot more profitable than what most people think. Because most people, when they drive buy a mobile home park, uh, they just think, what a nasty place, and, and there's no money in it, and everyone's nuts, and it's the slumlord. So hopefully the money has at least got your attention enough to wade on into the facts about the industries. How do you make money with a mobile home park? Like, how did I make money with Glen Haven and again with North Lamar? Tax plan number one is simply increase the lot rents. Attack plan number two, make the tenants pay their own water sewer by installing meters. The number one largest cost line item we have in the mobile home park industry is water and sewer. Attack plan number three, fill the vacant lots, fill the vacant homes. Because every lot I fill and every home I fill with a good paying tenant. Attack plan number four, make the property look better. Every time I make a park look better, my value goes up. And my value goes up in terms of a lower cap rate. So the appraiser will assess it at a lower cap rate saying, ooh, this is a more quality property. This is worthy of more debt. And if you add all four of those together over a five-year period, if you follow the plan I just laid out there, push water sewer back on the residents, raise the rent, clean the place up, fill 10 lots on that one little 60-space park, I created a million dollars of value. And that's pretty much the story of Glen Haven in a nutshell, because that's kind of what I did at Glen Haven.